Okay, the most complicated of the three are probably host headers. There's just more steps to it. It's not that much more complicated. Um, the idea, we're going to keep the same IP address. We're going to keep the same port number. And we want to just have the web server smart enough that it can figure out just by the name that it's been sent which site to go to. So the first thing we need to do is to look at Windows. And in earlier ver versions of Windows, Windows, you could get by just with going to the file and opening it. I'm talking about the, uh, the client side tricking the DNS into pointing to the right place. So let's take a look here. And my IP address is, I've got lots of them. Let's go with, uh, let's go with my main one, 254.119. All righty. I'm going to click on my little Windows bubble and where it says Notepad because I've opened it recently, I'm going to right click on that and say Run as Administrator. So what I'm doing is I am running Notepad as Administrator. Then I can go File, Open, and then go dig into to find um, C Drive, Windows, System 32, Drivers, Etsy, Hosts. Open Hosts. There we go. So I'm going to put in my IP address, 192.168.254, and yes, I have already forgot what it was. I can't remember. Um... 254.119.119, and I'm going to set that to www.stephen1.com just for the sake of argument. Now, if you hadn't run this as, as administrator, you could do all this, you just couldn't save it, which takes all the fun out of it. There we go. Control S to save it, and now. I've got my client in set up. So Stephen 1, Stephen 2, and Stephen 3. And if you close that, it's almost a guarantee that you'll need to get back into it again. So I'm just going to minimize it. There we go. So now I'm going to go edit my httpd.conf. Um, where am I? I'm in .conf. So vim httpd. Dot conf. Now, the last time what we did was just threw everything we wanted into a into an additional file. Well, we've got to comment something out in this file. So let's look for name virtual name virtual host. There we go. There's the line that we need. Name virtual host star colon eighty. Now, what we can do, we can comment it out right here, and that's fine. But what may be a little bit slicker is we'll just put this line in name virtual host colon star star colon eighty. Let's try that. CD dot dot conf dot d is the directory. It's going to read everything that's in this that ends in dot conf. So vim Stevens stuff <laughs> stuff dot uh, conf, and I'm going to say name virtual host star colon 80. So that directive says, okay, now we're going to use name virtual host. The other two with IP address and um, port numbers, we didn't have to do that. So this is the only one that you have to comment that out. But now, V-R-T-U-L, virtual host star colon 80, which says any IP address that I'm on, to bring it up. Okay, the document root, document root, one of them was home Wilson public HTML. Now I know I've already got a website there. Um, if you've watched the video on IP addresses, just to keep it from griping, I put server name in there and gave it something. Well now the server name has to be in there because that's how it's going to straighten them out. Um, www.steven1.com Alright, four lines yanked and put those down. Uh, 
and Stephen2.com is going to go to home site 99. And even for our, they get confused. Um, if you don't, well, we'll just do it. You've got to actually put your default in there too because I'm actually calling them by name. So for Y again, and put, there we go. We'll make Stephen 3 my default. There we go. So that should have all of them accounted for and our special little directive up here. Right, quit, service, HTTPD, restart. There we go. Now, back in Windows, I'll check and see if I can say www.steven1.com. There we go. That's the default user page. Okay, that should be right. Dot two, site 99, and three should be my default basic page. That's it. That's the var www.html. So it's pretty straightforward. The only trick is you just have to remember to edit your host file, which is in, it's always on the client side, and it's that driver's Etsy um, hosts file. Alrighty.